Now at 6, the search is on for the driver who police say crashed into a man who was riding a moped in Fort Lauderdale. The driver left the scene, leaving the unconscious victim on the ground at a busy intersection. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. I'm Alina Machado. And I'm Chris Hush. Parts of that video very difficult to watch, but there is more here. Let's get right out to NBC6's Kim Wen, who joins us live from where all of this happened. Kim, the victim had a lot to say. Yeah, that's right. And we just spoke with that victim who says that he is still in pain days after getting knocked off of his moped. Surveillance video shows the driver speed off and just leave him there. Uh, like you guys mentioned, we're about to show that video. Just to warn you, you may find this video disturbing. One second I'm, I'm there, the next second I'm, I'm on the ground. Alexander Romanenko says that's all he remembers after being hit by a car while on his moped. The impact knocking him to the ground. All I remember is everybody around me getting out of their cars and then the, the paramedics um, putting me onto the stretcher to the hospital. Romanenko says the hit and run happened Friday night around 930 on Sunrise Boulevard in Fort Lauderdale. He says he was on his way home from work when surveillance video shows a blue Prius crash into the back of his moped. Romanenko hits the ground. The driver of the Prius never gets out of the car, but instead switches lanes, then speeds off. It hurts because I can't believe someone would, would just leave someone else there like that. Romanenko says although he looks okay from the outside, he says he has bruises and sprains all throughout his body. The whiplash is pretty severe up and down the neck. Um, it's a really bad headache. You know, it's pounding. I can't sleep at night. He says he's sharing his story to make sure the driver doesn't hit anyone else. Maybe we can catch them before they, you know, maybe they hit someone else. And the crash is still under investigation. Anyone with information should call Fort Lauderdale Police. For now, we're reporting live from Fort Lauderdale. Kim Wynn, NBC6 News.